All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the Bit of Footy YouTube channel. Now today we're in round two, round one is over and we're coming into round two, starting on a Thursday night again, so I thought I'd get my tips out today before tomorrow happens. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a pretty intense round. There's a lot of 50-50 games happening this weekend, so it's gonna be hard for anyone to really tip what could happen, because literally anything could happen, like we saw last week. Crows beating the Cats, uh, the, sw the Swans beating the Lions, I mean, uh, was there, there wasn't really too many other upsets besides that, uh, maybe you could count the Saints be beating the Giants as well, but, you know, it was, a, it was a, it was a, it was an okay round, we'll put it that way, but yeah, we're heading into round two, so let's get through my round two footy tips. Alright, starting off on Thursday night between the Blues and the Pies, what a game this will be, I'll be attending this match, and again, hopefully, I'll I'll be able to bring you a Matt's Day vlog of it. And also, I'll be doing like a Street Talk segment, um, like you may have seen it in the first episode of End to End Footy with Mitch Ryan and Cardman. So if you are there before the game, maybe if you see me and you want to be interviewed, don't be hesitant to uh, come up to me and say, you know, hello and all that. So yeah. That should be interesting. For the game, though, I have tipped my pies. It's against Carlton, so I'm not going to tip Carlton because I go for Collingwood. But I feel like it will be a really, really good match, and that's why here I've went the pies by 13 only. I don't think it will be a big margin for whichever team wins, but I've went my pies just because I go for them, and I just don't want to tip Carlton, the arch enemy. But either way, it's going to be a really good contest, and the margin of the winner I can see it being very slim. So, come on, Pies, please get the win. But, you know, it's, again, a really good game on our hands. Then we head down to the Cattery on Friday Night Footy for the Cats versus the Lions. Now, this game should be a really good game, and both teams are coming off losses in round one. Pretty much unexpected losses as well. Um, the Lions with a big loss to the Swans and the Cats to a little loss but it was to the Crows and no one really expected it. The Crows put up a great fight and got the job done. So this one is kind of a weird one to tip because I was expecting at least one of the teams to win but none of them actually did in round one but it's at the Cat Cattery. The Cats sort of got back into their good brand of footy sort of in the second half against the Crows whereas the Lions they just looked all over the shot. Uh, all over the shop against the um, the Swans. So I'm going to tip the uh, Cats in this one to beat the Lions. It's at the Cattery. I think the Cats will want to come back from their disappointing loss last week. Whereas the Lions, they were just, you know, like I said before, all over the place. Um, so yeah, I feel like the Cats will get this job. We'll get the win at the Cattery. Moving on to Saturday evening footy, and we have the first game between the Swans and the Crows. Now, um, you know, the Crows, they beat the Cats, but the Swans, this is like literally the two opposite teams playing. So yeah, it, it, this one should be an actual interesting one from the uh, results from last week that not many people were expecting. But I have went the Swans at the SEG to get the job done over the Crows. They looked really, really good last week against the Lions with the likes of Logan McDonald. And um, I've forgotten what the Rising Star, uh, the... Um, What's his name? The Rising Star nominee's name was, but he played a really good hand in the victory as well. Heaney, we already know how good Heaney is. Papley didn't play too much of a big hand, but I expect him to against the Crows. Normally does. And, you know, I, I can see the Crows sort of putting up a fight like they did last week, but at the home ground of the SCG, I feel like the Swans will get the job done. Move on to the Adelaide Oval for the Power versus the Bombers. Um, yeah, the Bombers... We all know what happened, 40 points up, and they lost to the Hawks by a point in the end. Whereas the Power, um, who'd they play? They played the Roos, they looked um, on song. The first quarter, they didn't look to their best, but after that, they turned on the Afterburners, they turned on the uh, Special Trick Show, and they got the job done quite easily, like a team of Port Adelaide should. So it's at the Adelaide Oval home ground, so I'm thinking the power will get the job done over the Bombers. But who knows, the Bombers could up, put up a fight, but 
for me it's just the power will be too good at home then we move on to a bit of a saturday night uh special here yeah? the saints versus the D's. normally a good game between these two and it's normally hard to tip who's going to win this one there's been a lot of back and forth between these two teams but at marvel the saints pulled off an incredible victory last week over the giants um it was a hard fought win and i feel like they're gonna you know have the uh the mental strength of this one to get the in this one to get the job done over the D. so yeah i've went the saints to beat the d's at a little sunday night thriller at Marvel Stadium it could be it may not be but I feel like this is going to be a really good fast-paced game to enjoy but I've went the Saints in this one to beat the D's then the last game of Saturday happens at Metricon Stadium between the Suns and the Roos obviously the Suns losing Matt Rail again to injury unfortunate scenes but still without him I can see them beating the Roos um, but this is sort of a 50-50 game because the Roos, they didn't look too bad last week. They really didn't look too bad. It was sort of a Collingwood situation. They got it into the midfield. They had some good plays, but when they hit the forward line, they didn't do much with the ball. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they play out this week against the Suns at Metricon. But I've went the Suns to win this one, but I'm not really too confident about this one. But home ground, the Suns for me. Then we move on to the Sunday, the three games on a Sunday, starting off with the Hawks versus the Tigers. And who knows what could happen in this one after the what the Hawks did against the Dons. But, you know, the Tigers, they got challenged. They got the job done over the Blues. They look too good in the end. And I've went the Tigers back at the G in front of what could be a massive crowd. You know, 75,000 allowed in at the G. So there's going to be a lot of Tiger fans there. And I can just see them getting the job done over the Hawks. So yeah, the Tigers for me. Then we move on to a bit of an intriguing game at Marvel Stadium. The Dogs versus the Eagles. Two very good looking sides all of a sudden especially the dogs um i don't feel like the dogs put on their the best show that they could have last week against us um but you know they look like a fast-paced side they look like a very good side this year obviously their midfield looks insane and all that uh, but you know the eagles as well they've got a great forward line and great midfield themselves so it's nothing to take away from them but I just feel like the dogs will get the edge on the Eagles. It feels like one of those games where the home team will prevail. Um, it's going to be a great battle, though. It seriously is going to be a great battle to see who gets the chocolates in this one. But I feel like if the dogs can win this one, it'll be a good showing for them. And that's why I've tipped them to win. I feel like they'll really want to win it, come out hungry. And yeah, get the job done over the Eagles at Marvel Stadium. Which leads us to the last game of the weekend. The, um, the Dockers versus the Giants. Now, this one's literally, you probably can't see it there, but it is literally a 50-50 split for tippers on this game. But I have went the Giants as much as they did lose to the Saners. Um, it's hard. The Dockers just have so many injuries nowadays it's going to be hard for them and the giants are only lost by eight points they still put up a good fight they looked a bit dazed in the game fair to say but um i feel like they'll put on a better display against the dockers but you know last last week the saints had a depleted team not their full team and they still got the job done and now the giants playing it up to stadium so literally anything could happen but i just feel like the giants of the team that they have really should win this one that's what i said last week though but yeah i'm gonna tip them over the dockers and it's it's gonna be a crazy week to think about it's it's very hard to tip this week anyway guys so that's it for the round two tips and if you still haven't joined my tipping competition make sure to via the link in the description below got to have espn footy tips to do so but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll be at the game this thursday so friday i should have a match day vlog coming out in the morning and then on Sunday, I'll be streaming the Dogs versus Eagles game. So there's your bit of content from me this week. So this video, um, the vlog, and then the stream. So there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I will see you on Friday. Like I said, cheers.